Wow, so here we go again, everybody. This is the third cell. We left because it seems to be holding up pretty good. But, uh, yeah, wow. <laughs> Where was this back in July? I'm glad you're driving. I'm not. Well, actually, this is... I don't want some idiot coming up behind me. Right? This is amazing. Wow. Well, the coop held up pretty good behind the, uh, under the onslaught of the first one. So we got that going. And like I was saying to everybody on my video, I sure hope my wife was, uh, videoing from the truck. She kind of got stuck in the truck. You want to tell everyone what happened? Yeah, I just opened my door, looked down, and had a foot deep puddle, and I said, nope, uh, I'm not walking through that. I was kind of referring to the video. Oh, <laughs> that part. Yeah. I uh, got so caught up, and it sounded like the truck was getting hit with rocks and marbles that I completely forgot to turn the camera sideways. And then when I realized I had it sideways, I flipped it. Yeah, that don't work. So oh, my video is gonna be sideways. I don't know. Should I should I upload it anyways, guys? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna. <laughs> but it's it's funny. Woo! What a day. And just like that, we're out of that. So. Look at the flooding in this yard. Oh my goodness. We've gotten a few inches of rain in the last two hours. Oh yeah. They're, I don't even... they're training straight east and west right overhead. And I'll bet you anything, Muskegon didn't get a drop. <laughs> that down there. Not. Wow. But it's good to know that our, uh, I better turn that off before I get a copyright strike. Uh, it's good knowing that the coop is withholding. The only thing I wish I did different was make it a couple feet higher on the pitch to make it a little bit more steep. Uh, but other than that, it's a cheap way to make a big coop. Let's we'll see how it make, holds up over the winter. <laughs> But, if it holds up good, I think we've got the blueprint for a hundred footer. Amen. Oh, man. Well, we're coming up to a gas station up ahead another couple miles. Uh, I don't know if the show is over yet, but we're just going to keep running till we get up there. I have to get some gas. We kind of took off in a haste to make sure our babies weren't getting flooded or tore up. We're pathetic. <laughs> oh, sunlight. Try it. Yeah, welcome to Michigan. <laughs> it's trying. But the dry line goes right over our house in Muskegon. But Holton, where our farm is, it's 20 sucked. miles away, is right in the middle of the train. <laughs> uh, if you look at your radar for uh, mid-Michigan, you'll see what we're talking about for today. August 29th. Yeah, today's the 29th. Yes, it is. About 7 o'clock in the evening. This is just weird. Weather's weird that way. Ooh, they got hail here. Yeah, they did. Wow. This a lot was, of debris in the road. They did not have this debris when we came up 35 minutes ago. So they that last hail pour that just grazed us came right through here. Yeah. Oh. All right, come on, Chevy. You can do it. Yeah, the roads look pretty good here. No, I'm not seeing any debris. Yeah. That Where one clap of thunder, that was really close a few minutes ago. I wonder if Muskegon got any rain. 
Muskegon has had one of those years where all the storms just go right around it. North Muskegon, three miles on the other side of the lake, they get hit. We don't. Our, our soil is so dry. I hope some of this curled off and got them. But anyway, we're up at the gas station. I'm going to get a gallon or two of gas, and uh, I'm going to sign off the videos tonight unless we get another big big pour on our way home. But I think we're, we're getting to the end of it. Y'all have yourself a good day, and uh, stay safe, everybody. Peace out. Bye, everyone. Bye, Zach. Ha, ha, ha.